guys, Brock's Fest is two, three weekends away. Are you as excited as I am? Hey guys, it's Tom with the SS Motion here, and today we're making a Brock's Fest vo vlog to carry you guys up to the event. So we're three weekends away from the event now, so I'm going to be releasing a vlog each weekend. So today we're going to be discussing customs. We're going to discuss two people who are going to have customs on Showcase, and we're then going to talk about the customs competition in a little bit of detail. Okay, so firstly, I was given the opportunity last week to meet with the legendary David Stockbridge, a customizer whose customs have been shared on the Megablocks page itself very many times. He's an awesome guy, really down to earth and kind, and it was great meeting him. <clears throat> we also did a trade where I got some awesome figures, so that was always nice, and we just had a really good day meeting each other. Now, David gave me some of his customs on loan to showcase at Bloxfest, since he can't be there himself. Now, these customs are going to be sitting on my desk right up until the day, and on the day itself, they will be brought into the event and will be on showcase to you lovely people. Okay, so let's take a look at his customs. So firstly, we have the red versus blue diorama piece, which was officially commissioned by Megablocks. You can see some nice detail added to the magnum there. Even some hand paint mark. The customised assault rifle, with the handle made shorter and more accurate. And the custom flag. So that's a very nice diorama piece in itself with even little touches such as a grenade there. And then he's also given us alone five figures to have on showcase. The first being a warthog resistant Spartan repainted to resemble Master Chief. The second being Hoya. The third being a Halo 5 version of the Master Chief. The fourth being, I believe, Spartan Grant, although you can correct me if I'm wrong. And the fifth being his custom Zealot, who I'm going to keep secret until Blocks Fest, when you can learn the name and more information. So five very nice figures, and I put together a little diorama for him to have them displayed on. And I am very proud to be able to bring these customs to Blocks Fest. Okay, so as well as these customs, we also have Scott McKee who's showcasing some customs at the event and he will be giving tutorials. He will be entering several awesome battlescapes uh, or diorama pieces, should I say, which I can't comment on too much, but which I can assure you are very awesome. And he will also have some figures on showcase, so that's definitely something to look forward to. Scott's work has also been shared on the Megablocks page on several occasions, we are lucky to be able to have such high case customizers come into the event. Okay guys, so the last thing I want to talk about in this vlog is the customs competition itself. For those of you who don't know, on the day at Bloxfest we will be running a customs competition with three categories, custom figure, custom vehicle and custom diorama. There are some truly epic prizes lined up for the winners, though I can't comment on them as they will be revealed on the day or shortly before. It's definitely worth entering, as I am sure there will not just be one winner, we will probably have notable mentions as well. And in addition to that, I am just very excited to see what you guys can come up with. I know we have a very creative community here on the page, and indeed come into Bloxfest. So I'm excited to see exactly what you guys can do with all the resources you have at your disposal. So what I want you guys to do is comment below with what you're going to be entering with, and then we can enjoy a discussion to see what everyone's entering with. Okay guys, so that's been the first week of Road to Blocks Fest and vlog series which will come out each weekend leading up to the event. Today's been all about customs. I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. Please like, subscribe and comment and add to favourites and I will look forward to making more videos for you guys in the near future. This has been Tom from the SS Motion signing off.